Hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken. Yes, tourism Vancouver. Okay, so just just so you know, we're not being paid by Vancouver to go ahead and promote this. We just happened to go to one of their events last night. It's their it was their cocktail party because gay it was actually Pride Week or Gay Pride. What do they call it? Anyway, kicked off last night. Um, the event start today with a four hundred thousand expected people um, in town on Sunday for their Pride Week parade on Sunday. So there's a lot of things going on. But one of the things I didn't know is Vancouver has a large gay population that or actually they're trying to invite the LGBT community to Vancouver for all the different events and things that they have. And they actually have, I was re just reading, they have a gay pride parade festival with like 650,000 people. So it's a pretty huge event. Meanwhile, we're going to bring all Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, yeah, the President of the United States is on his, uh, he's on his Bury the Republican tour today. We're going to, we're going to tell, we're going to uh, boost health care, and everybody in the country is going to like health care, they're going to blame it all on the Republicans. Oh, unfortunately, it ended up as another, they said that his message on how much people are going to like health care was lost in the fact in California that health care is going to cost you up to 160% more than, you are, than you're currently paying for your health care. You're not going to be able to keep the programs you like, and the government's going to, to tell you what you can do, and the fact that, that his scandals just keep growing bigger. You know, yesterday they got it from, you know, get over it from the Senate, and then today they find out there's three billion phones, messages a day being checked over by the... Um, by the NSA, which has no authority to do it, no matter what the president says, and they're also doing like a zillion emails a day. But he he told people today at a at a black meeting, he said that we're not listening to anybody's phone calls and we're not reading their email and and we're doing this to protect you from you know from dangers and that there might we might get some information. Well, the court doesn't lose the word might, so they figure what happens is. Is that the president is simply not telling the people, his people are not telling the judges that are proving this stuff the truth. One guy said, there's no way on earth that you can get a judge to allow you to do a billion emails, a, a billion phone calls a day, and now they're talking every phone, every uh, exchange in the United States is being watched by this president, and they're putting everybody on a file now. Mm -hmm. and, they'll, and just they said that you can trust me. You know that this isn't going to be getting get, nothing going to be doing it. well. They already know they basically doing it in his election campaign. And then this morning, and then he said the Senate and the House unanimously approved non-binding rule to tell the president to tell the uh, the, the the Chinese premier or head whatever the president was there that you know that we're going to get tough on you. And Obama got tough today. Oh, what did B.S. the bull said? We're going to have semi-annual meetings to talk about cyber problems. Mm -hmm. They said it looked like a great big, they said the only thing that was missing was the wedding music in the background because that's how much he adored the Chinese president that he'd marry him. And in dissent, Scalia joins, courts with, joins with courts liberals to blast police DNA testing without warrant. Here's the problem. There's only nine court justices. If Scalia went from the conservative side over to the liberal side, it means the liberal side won the vote. So how could they, uh, somebody on the liberal side, two on the liberal side had to vote on the conservative side to do it, which means the liberal court justices went along with it. They didn't defend it again. That's only, it had to be a six to three vote. That's the only way it would have worked. Putin confirms an end to his 30-year marriage. I know. Um, he had 30 year marriage because he basically, well, because that's why he walks around without his shirt on to show you how muscled he is. Oh, is he? He does that continually. He does the Reagan stuff to show, you know, he even sings love songs on YouTube and stuff. And he had, they spent like a, I don't know, a million dollars to rearrange a song for him to sing, which they said the problem was he actually can't sing quite well in English. Oh, so, we're going to have to listen to him now. Yeah. And Syrian TV says Army regains control of strategic border town. Yeah, they're winning the battle, folks, because they said um, Obama basically too little, too late. They now have air to ground, uh, air, ground to air missiles to shoot down any planes that would. Okay, you can't enforce a no fly zone when the people on the ground 
have uh, missiles that basically have that basically cannot be hit by American. Okay, here's how it works: is uh, in Iraq they had the stuff. Every time you'd light up uh, um, an airplane, they knew where to go to the target. The problem is now. The, the stuff the Russians are sending, you can light up one of our planes and the plane doesn't know it's being lit up. Mm. So you can't retaliate. They fire the missile, you have no way of knowing where it's coming from. It could be coming from 100 miles away and you're just dead, folks. And monumental phone records monitoring is like bare. Yeah, but they're, they're declassifying the fact that they did. Yeah, okay, last night it was one billion. This morning one of their people, when they're talking about it, said it's actually three billion, folks. Three billion phone calls a day, plus a hundred and some million cell, uh, um, smart devices, and maybe a billion emails a day too. They're going through. Mm -hmm. It's you know they they said well we're just gathering data. Well that's not what the law was intended for. The law was to go after terrorists, and the president you know I I, I saw an Afro American on this morning. A businessman said that scares the hell out of me. He said we're only we're doing this because we might find a terrorist. Might is not how the law works. Might is never. Well, you know, uh, he, he pointed out the fact that they did a movie with Tom Cruise years ago that Tom Cruise was in charge of getting people that might commit a crime. And this is the way the Obama thing is now. Well, you might someday be, a, you know, talk to somebody that's a terrorist and we want to have you on our watch list now. <laughs> so he's got 400 million Americans now on his watch list. That reminds me of that Tom Cruise movie. That is the yeah. That's that, <laughs> right? That's what the guy said this morning. I totally like it. You're now going to be tried for what you haven't even thought about doing. At least, at least before. Because you have a propensity to do it. Yeah. They, well, actually, you don't even have a propensity to do it. You might sometime in the future talk to somebody that has terrorist inclinations. Not that you will, but you might. That's, you know, that they said, well, a person. Well, we the, the odds are that this person will kill somebody when he get you know when he gets older. The odds are good, but might and will are two different words. And Turkish deputy prime minister seeks to calm anti-government protests. Yeah, they're actually the people that are turning the country into a Muslim, uh, a Muslim, uh, a Muslim or a country now are cheering the fact that the the, the break they're crushing. The people that basically want the Constitution. The, one of the guys said that uh, he very soon expects that the, 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 the people that are running the government will tear Ataturk statues down everywhere they are. Ataturk created the modern, uh, mo modern Turkey of which everybody can get along in, not in the Turkey that exists, so Ataturk would have no place in this modern world. So. And Romney wishes Hurricane Sandy hadn't happened because it hurt his chances. Well, no, what hurt his chances was Chris Christie. Chris Christie, if he had not have done that, Obama was toast. Because Chris Christie should have simply said the truth, is that if you were a Democrat, you got something. If you were a Republican, you didn't. And the Republicans basically got screwed, and they got screwed in New Jersey, got screwed in New York, and they're still getting screwed, but since Christie is obviously running for the Democratic nomination for president, mm -hmm. he may not say it. You know, they said that he had, Christie yesterday had to bow to the fact the Republicans were, you know, you are not going to appoint Cory Booker to the job of senator. Mm -hmm. You know, so that, he, they, his, his inclination was, well, Booker's going to win Lautenberg's seat anyway, so let's just appoint a Democrat and, and we don't have to worry about it. And then the fact that he is spending $12 million to hold the election before because he doesn't even think he can win the Republican election this time, so he's trying to fix it so there's no one on the ballot opposite him to draw extra people to the, po the poll. So he's not that well loved in the state, folks. And France says test proof Syria used nerve gas and U.S. sends Patriots. They can't prove that the Syrians have done it. The United Nations can't prove the Syrians have done it. They can prove that they think there is a good possibility that the, uh, the, the rebels are using nerve gas in order to win battles that they can't win anymore. Mm. And uh, Michelle Obama clashes with Heckler at fundraiser. Yeah, and these are her people, folks. Yeah, why in the world happened on that one? Because they're getting sick and tired of the Obamas. I mean, nobody runs the government anymore. They just do fundraisers. The day what happened was Obama went to do his job while he was basically touting a program that no one wants 
and then going to a fundraiser for afterwards tonight. He wouldn't have went to California if he wasn't going to a fundraiser tonight. And some, you know, some millionaire in Hollywood's giving him. Actually, uh, here's one thing. One guy said this morning. Well, they think he's going to go to help the the the, the left in Hollywood raise money for the defense of the person in the WikiLeaks case. And they said, you oh, serious? you mean a soldier? He said, no, he's already been found innocent by the president. He's talking raising money for Assange because that's how he does things. What? And and they, Mo- they were being very satastic about oh, it. Oh, okay. And a Monty bubble isn't from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay. It, it used to be that you can't put off till tomorrow what was needed to be done yesterday. Unfortunately, today, that's the accepted norm. 